Good day everyone. In this video, we will be doing a continuation of how to use HTML tags okay, to be used in designing a web page. So, we'll be tackling about how to insert an image in our web page, how to input links, okay, which is a clickable text or a clickable image or an icon. And then I'll also introduce to you how to have a division or section in our web pages. Okay, so let's start it with the doc type HTML for our browser or the system to know what file will it be going to open. Okay, and then let's have the HTML tags the main tag for our html file okay so starting tag and then a closing tag and inside this one okay is head okay, we're in we will be inputting the things that uh, we should do in our web page but the visitors won't be able to see Okay, and then inside the head tags, again, starting tag and the closing tag. Okay, let's set the character set of our page. So, meta char set, UTF-8 code. Okay, then let's put a title. So, HTML and CSS R2 and close the title. Okay, uh, let me save this one. Okay, so if you would observe, I've created an HTML folder in my desktop for this activity. So inside this one, okay, are the uh, HTML files that we've created in the previous video. And I also add up here an image folder wherein inside this one are the images that we'll be using later for the images activity or HTML image activity. Okay, so let me save this as part 2. Okay, then do not forget to uh, have the HTML file as its extension. Then save. Okay, then let's start with the body. Okay, starting tag, then do not forget to close it. Closing tag for the body. Okay, and then as a developer, again, we are using the comment tag. Okay for us to remember or to recall later once we open this file again, okay, on what particular part of the page, okay, was the following code. Okay, so let me input a text about it. So the following code is about HTML images, okay, and like that. And then, now we will start how to insert an image or an HTML image. But before that, let me input a title for that. Okay, so, and close the H3 and inside it or between those tags are the title or the, yeah, the text that will serve as a title in our web page. So, HTML images so let me open this one for us to see immediately okay its output okay so this is the one so double click it to render okay so as you could see 
the title was already there, HTML and CSS Part 2, but our web page body doesn't have a content yet because I didn't save yet this file. So let us not forget to save this file if you want to uh, see the output in the web page in our browser. So save this file and then refresh the page. Okay, so now we have here the title made with h3 tag. And now let's insert an image. So how are we going to insert an image? Okay, to do that, okay, we should have this tag image. Okay, it's the tag for HTML image. But for us to get the information or the image okay, that will be shown in our web page, we should okay, integrate the CRC or the source attribute for the image. So that is an attribute for the image tag. Okay, now, how are we going to input that image in our code? So let's go back in our folder. Okay, so this is our folder. The name of our folder is HTML. Inside that HTML, we have an images folder. Okay, so we have to indicate the name of the folder, which is IMGS okay and then slash and then let's open this one okay so say for example we have to insert the ISU logo okay so what is the name of this um, file okay so if you hover your mouse here the details will appear so it is a PNG file and the file name is ISU in capital letter and then logo okay so we just do this one i s u logo dot again hover your mouse what type of file was this logo okay it is a png file so dot png okay and then close it okay ah uh, do not forget to and close the double code Okay, so some um, developers used to put hash here, okay, to indicate that it's already closed. So you can do that also. Okay, so let's see. Let's save this file and let's refresh this page. Okay, so now you've seen that our image was integrated in the web page using this particular code. Okay, so next let's have links okay or let us insert again another um, image so again how to do it go on your folder and then look for the folder where your images are into then put it here images because it's inside the images folder okay then open it then select Okay, the file that you'll be using in your code. So let's say students. Okay, so the file name of this image is students and it is in V or PNG uh, form. Okay, so students.png. Then end of double code, then hash, and then close. Okay save it and refresh the page okay so as you could see it's just um, next okay to the image logo okay and these are the default size okay because okay the size of those images in our folder is in that site I mean in that size okay so we'll be able to change this later okay so i'll introduce it later on on how you will change the sizes of this images okay for now let's do the image links so let me insert again or input a comment tag so the following tag or code 
is about HTML links. Okay, then close it. Okay, let's have a title. Again, H3. HTML links. Okay, then close it. Save. And then refresh. Okay, so it's under the images. Okay, because that is how, again, our system or the browser read the code. So from the starting point until its ending code. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Say, for example, okay, for your upcoming activity, you will be having or you will be creating a web page with menu. Okay, with menu. So with that, we have to insert or to recall how to use the list, HTML lists, okay? So let's add here with HTML list, okay? So let's start. An ordered list shall be used, okay, for now. So, an ordered list and then close that tag. Inside that tag, let's input, okay, the list tag, okay, and so let's form first the uh, menu. Okay, say for example, um, home and then about. Another list for about and close it and another list for um, content say for example content and then let's have contact or contacts then end it okay so let's refresh this one. I mean, save and then refresh the page if, okay, so there we have it. The list is already there and let's make it as a menu, a clickable menu. Okay, how to do that? Okay, so in between the list tags, okay, and before, okay, actually it, this text will be in between the link tag. Okay, so let me remove this first for you to understand and to see it clearly. Okay, so we have a tag for the HTML link and it has a h uh, it has href, okay, like the src in this image tag, okay, wherein we will be integrating the link, okay, or the, yeah, the link, it could be um, like, for example, a domain name like facebook.com, google.com, or another HTML file. Okay, so double quote, close, and then home. And then um, close the link tag, which is A. Okay, but since we are going to use the... Uh, domain name facebook.com say for example let's change this text into facebook facebook okay and inside or between the double quote here we should input the url link of the uh, facebook.com or the domain name okay so https then triple w dot facebook dot com. Okay, so let's see. So let's save this one and then refresh this one. Okay, so as you could uh, observe, okay, so you could see here the Facebook text here became a hyperlink. How did how could we know that? It became the the style of the text became a hyperlink style, right? Okay, so the change in color happened and it was underlined. So this would only work if 
once we click it it will be redirected on the facebook page so let's do that so i clicked it and then it goes in the facebook page okay so that is how okay that html link happen okay now let's have the second one say for example google.com okay google.com so again how to do that so let me uh, delete the text so the link tag a and then the href and then okay so double quote and then close it and then google google our facebook site let's say facebook site here and then google site here okay and then end of the link okay then inside the or between the double quote here in each ref attribute we should input https triple w dot google dot com okay and then let's refresh this one i mean save okay so save this file and then refresh the page again okay the second menu change into a hyperlink style so again once i click this one it should it should be redirected to the google page okay so let me open it in a uh, new link tab okay and then as you can see it's been directed to the google.com page okay so that's how html links work okay what if in this contacts you wanted to um, redirect your visitors into mailing you okay so to do that let's remove this one or no that's okay but just to show you okay, the concept again so let's start with the um, html link tag then the href and it okay and then end of the link and then the text will be contact me okay and then inside or between the href or the double quote in href okay you have to input mail to and then what is your um contact mail email contact so let's say mine is journaling dlm at gmail.com okay so i'll save this one and then let's see what would happen so page refresh and then again the site or the text was formed into a hyperlink text so once i click this one i should be uh, redirected to an application or a web page wherein i will be sending or yeah a message okay, to contact the owner of this website so i clicked it again so an application was rendered so wherein i could be able to send a message to jonaline dlm at gmail.com okay so uh, preceding process should happen okay now let's have so that's it for the html links that's how we do html links now let's integrate the sections or divisions okay of the web page so let's have a header okay so actually in another version of html file okay lower version i think it is used with the div okay say for example we have to have this one as a different content okay so div let's put div there okay so let's have a blank space here for you to see it clearly so div 
for the first division of the contents of our um, page. So do not forget to close it. And inside this division, I should insert our menu. Okay, because it should be the first one in the upper part of the page. So I just cut the text there and paste it here. Okay, so let's see this first. Save and then refresh. So now our menu is in the top corner of our web page. Second division. Okay. Okay, so like that, close it. Okay, um, the default color background, background color of our division is white. Okay, so you cannot, you can't actually see if, was it really divided? Okay, but once we integrate H, I mean the CSS, we could see, okay, the difference that uh, we would be able to see that, oh yeah, it's been divided per section. Okay, so let's have the content of our sorry it should be inside this one okay the content for the content of our uh, page so let's save this one and then refresh okay so it was like that because um this code was followed or followed the menu okay so what if we want to input a footer division? Okay. So opening and then <laughs> uh, closing tag. And then say for example, H3 or H4. This web page is created by Maria Jonaline V. De La Merce. Okay, then close the H4 tag. Okay, then refresh, I mean save. And then let's refresh this one. Okay, so I have here a header. I have here a content and I have here a footer. Okay, for us, okay, not to uh, rattle with this uh, codes. Okay, we could do this one so it's in the html5 format so in this one for header for the developer to know if was it the part we're in it's in my header content in the web page okay so header and then of course we have to change the closing tag into header and this one for the main content we should change this into main and also this one close the main and then this one should be the footer okay and that's it we've already divided our web page so let me save it first and refresh it should be the same okay so we've divided our web page into three so we have a header we have the main content and we have the footer okay so in the next video i will be showing you how to integrate css wherein we could add a style in our web page we could be able to make the content of this page in the center or just a certain part to move it on the center and we will be or I will be demonstrating to you how to change the color background of the division how to change the color of the text okay and how to change the color of the background of our web page okay so thank you so much for listening I hope you've learned a lot and I hope that you would practice this one as you watch this video. So thank you so much and God bless everyone.